Well, today we're gonna do something different, something that I didn't do before. We're gonna go to the market to buy some uh, stuff for the shelter. I'm gonna try not to spend over $15. Stay tuned. Dark is what we need. Two by three meters. Garbage bags. Feel of poison ivy and that's the plan that we want to avoid sleeping on. Well, this place looks just fine. I have these poles here to make shelter and it's pretty straight, it's leveled up. So I think I'm gonna choose this place to make a campsite. I have around here these uh, fallen trees, I can use it for construction and for fire. Yeah, it's a fine place. Let's continue. But you can hear the wind and it really smells like snow, I have to say. It's a bit chilly, but uh, yeah, we have some gear to make the shelter. As I said before, I went to the store to try not to spend more than $15 to buy gear from the campsite. Now, I'm gonna show you what I have inside. I have my backpack here because uh, I have a lot of camera gear and that's the only reason why I carry it right now on this trip. Otherwise, I would just have that uh, garbage bag and put it all inside and just carry it till here. But you get the concept. And the... Also, I have a can of food, I bought a bottle of water and I have my knife and my fire steel. Everything else I bought in this store just to make shelter, to make great campsite. Now let me show you what I have here. Now, I bought the tarp, two by three meters. It should be enough to put it away. I have my jacket, of course. This foil is uh, for the super shelter. I, you probably saw on a title what it is, but uh, I'm gonna use this a bit later garbage bags. You can make great use of these to make bed, to collect water, to collect air, to collect all kind of stuff around here. And uh, I'm gonna use it for something a bit different today. Also I bought this rope. A great thing about this rope is uh, it's made out of the natural material and if you leave it by any case here, you didn't do any damage to the nature. You just Better than paracord in point of uh, using it uh, as a natural material. Uh, as I said, kind of food. And today I have one product to show you that a company called Beerocraft sent me, and they're from Ukraine. We're gonna taste that today. Okay, let's check our location, what we can use, clean the area if we have to, and Make the shelter. And as always, close on me, Revolution Race. If you want to get this, go check it out. Link below in the description. I don't have to do any special review of it. It's just awesome. So go get it. Now, first thing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean these branches that are sticking out just to protect my eyes and my gear. And uh, everything else looks pretty fine. Only thing I have to figure out is uh, what kind of setup I'm gonna make with my tarp here. Everything else should be easy. Now, I really wanna use also the branches just to make construction much more sturdy. One thing I forgot to mention, this was $5 also five dollars this was one dollar 
and uh, this can was two dollars and the garbage bags around two dollars so you get two three five around fifteen dollars of a gear so now plus in this cleaning the area we can use this for the fire and uh, it's pretty dry it's a bit rotten but uh, better than nothing for sure when you look around here you would say a lot of firewood here but I think in reality and probably most of you who go out there and spend nights you know that uh, even if it looks like much it isn't you really need a huge amount of firewood through the night and it's better to have more than you need than less because uh, through the night when it gets colder you have to feed 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 and feed your fire otherwise you're gonna get cold and one more thing is sure with this it makes noise so forget a nice sleep I'm going to use this bad boy for the pole and it's filled with this sticky stuff always carry your gloves I have to clean all of these little branches and since I don't have an axe I have to use my knife and I believe enough this knife maker <laughs> that he got it right because uh, he made this in front of me and uh, whole the process was made just in front of me so torture test you probably wonder why use this knife to do this I can use some branch or uh, something like that well for the main reason it's fun just like batoning I'm gonna use this as a rope holder so doesn't matter how much I need, it will stay here. carpenter's knot you just go inside and around tie it up you can release your left hand choose the height go around and down around here and you use this uh, loose end and just tie it all together
Well, I guess you have an idea right now what I did here. But still, I have a problem with the wind moving my tarp all around here. So I have to make some kind of construction for the sides. I have to cover it because uh, if I want the best result with a super shelter, you have to be closed up from all sides. And uh, I have to make a few tent pegs just to pin this into the ground. And uh, yeah, it should be nice and cozy. Doesn't look much, maybe. It feels like home, I have to say. Now, I had an idea to put these cross poles here to cover the sides. Well, I think that uh, this is gonna be just enough to cover full shelter. It gives extra cover. I will be able to see what's going on from the sides. And uh, yeah, I hope it works. Set the camera, it's on. I use this piece of wood just to make a button, and now I'm gonna tie it up to this tree. Simple as that. Final thing to do, pipe pole, just to roll this up and we have a nice, neat and warm shelter. And it's getting dark, it's already 3 o'clock. Uh, you wouldn't believe but it took me a while to make this. And as always, if you're making something, always make it right from the first time. Well, maybe not perfect, completely fine. It's very light because uh, it is rotten and uh, okay. Let's see if it'll work.
time to find purpose for these. By the way, I have space in between here, but uh, it won't be a problem to cover it up. So if you're making something like this, make sure you cover every hole, because otherwise you're gonna get cold and uh, it won't be nice and cozy. This is what I'm looking for, a moss. And this one is really nice and thick. So I'm gonna collect it in this bags and from it I'm gonna make myself a bed and I hope there will be enough space for me on the ground at least few inches when it compressed and that should be nice One way here carrying this, I figured out something. I'm gonna put this directly on the ground here, and then I'm gonna put these uh, garbage bags on it. The reason for that is I wanna conserve that bags, and it's much safer when I put it like that than this inside. And from the other side, there's the one more layer from the ground, so I think uh, that would be a much better idea. And I'm gonna lay this all around here and if nothing it will look cool, but it will work, trust me. Just like a mattress. All I have to do now is just put those garbage bags. It should be nice and fine. I'm gonna put my gear in the corner, light the fire in here, and enjoy the night. I almost forgot that carving knife. I'm gonna show you now. I haven't even opened it up yet. So this is a handmade. As you can see, there is no barcodes on this, so you won't find it in any stores. And Beaver Craft. And here's the address of the store. Now, I really didn't want to do any collaboration with anyone, except for my Revolution Race and uh, more serious gear. I had the gear best and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I really don't like to recommend something that is very cheap and uh, usually when it's cheap, it doesn't work. And they make all kind of carving tools. And uh, this is a small little blade. It is hand forged. I don't know what wood this is. I didn't do my homework, to be honest. But yeah, it's very light and uh, it's very, very sharp. You can see this edge. It's very nicely made. So, we're gonna test it out today. If it works, I'm gonna recommend. If it doesn't, I'll say that it's crap. But all in all, it's very sturdy and really, really nicely made. It has uh, really some soul in it. Let's clean, clean the area up from the fire. I really have to be careful about making the fire not too close to the shelter because uh, this cover is very thin so it could be burnt very easy and uh, I'm gonna do it over here and the uh, very nice thing about my country we have a bunch of rocks for that reason I don't have to use any green wood for the reflector because uh, you have to make it green otherwise it will burn and this way I preserve nature and they're not gonna burn. And uh, one more plus, they keep heat very nicely. So I'm gonna try to make kind of wall here. And uh, okay, let's see how it works.
Well, that's finished. And I placed this moss on the top and in between in places just to make it more windproof. As always, in every vid, I have to beg you for something. If you like this vid, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give a like and comment what you think. Comment what would you do different than I did. And it always helps. So, yeah, simply it, subscribe and there will be more stuff like this. Time to light the fire. A few more like this. And this thing is great for kindling. Thin, it's not super dry because uh, everything around here is moist. It should be just fine. There is one more great purpose of this natural cord. And if you make smaller pieces, you just tear them apart and you'll have this tiny fine material and the uh, best thing about this it catches spark very very easily come on focus 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 okay there you go a nice little fibers here I have these Usually you put the wood on the ground and the fact is that ground won't moist your firewood. But with this it stays dry because uh, this is a good insulator and uh, yeah if you have it it is much better than put sticks in the ground because uh, in time those sticks that you put on the ground will burn off and your firewood will be again on a cold ground. Here I have this rope and uh, if I'm right it will catch a spark and we'll have a fire. We'll see. Have fire. Now as I stopped working around the campsite I really started to feel chillness so it's time to put my jacket on and to feed fire and everything is very damp here and lighting a fire is not easy as it looks like. <coughs> Always <we're> still <coughs> Always the same with the smoke. <coughs> Very nice. Familiar sound. Sure it is. Oh. And this uh, stone wall really does a nice job in reflecting heat. We'll see inside after I put this uh, cover 
will it work and it will be sauna inside. Can't wait to try it. I'm playing for a while with this little knife and I gotta tell you this uh, simple handle is very comfortable. It reminds me actually of my Puka knife. The difference is that this has a little bit rougher edges but it's fine because uh, this is meant to be a woodworking tool and uh, handsome little knife it was funny for me at the first because of this small blade we can do really really some nice 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 work with it really like it and uh, I had him plan to make spoon here the problem is I don't have saw so I cannot get myself a nice piece but in future in next to it I'll surely use this and uh, yeah, works just fine. I really like it. It'd be nice if you had some sheath with it, because you have to be very careful because this blade is very, very sharp. And yeah, nice little blade. Thumbs up. You can find the link in the description if you want to get some. They have also crook knives and uh, a lot, lot of different blades. So. inside my dinner is cooling down nighty night this is how it looks from the inside uh, it's very really, very really hot inside I have to put off my jacket I think that uh, I'm not gonna need a huge fire all night and the problem is if I make it too big this will have a lot of little holes so so far so good it works well I always like when thing works I have my backpack I'm gonna use it for my pillow and uh, this will be a nice night and I think I'm gonna finally get some sleep outdoors now if I had space blanket here, it would be much, much, much better. But still, like this, as you can see, this tarp is just getting in. And that is because of the heat. And uh, so far, works just perfect. I have to keep fire like this, not to burn down. And uh, it works very fine. We'll see in a few hours. As I said, so far so good. In here is very, very nice. And uh, under my back, it's very comfortable. It's very, very, how should I say? I wouldn't say soft, but it feels like a nice mattress, trust me. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have some rest, finally, because usually, when you don't have this uh, super shelter you have to go all night outside to get firewood and yeah when you get nice and warm inside of your sleeping bag or something it's very hard to get outside this is just perfect i should be fine for the night so i'll see you guys in the morning and good night Good morning. It is uh, almost 8 o'clock. I fell asleep around 10, 
and during the night I woke up around 3 o'clock something was walking around my campsite and I just fall asleep again it was very comfortable I had fire until 9.30 last night and there was really no need because uh, I closed the shelter very well and heat was just this side, it was very very warm inside of my jacket and yeah, it just works perfect you can see my bed very very nice night but also very long night because uh, it gets dark around 5 o'clock in the evening so you can imagine and uh, it was dark until 6 o'clock this morning so around 13 hours of pure darkness still thinking should I light a fire or not because I don't have any cup to make tea and I don't need heat anymore okay guys now let's make some final conclusion about this shelter and as you can see if you have some comfort and trust me this is comfort if you carry a sleeping bag it would be just just perfect and you don't need any special tents any special gear you don't have to make some huge shelters because that also takes practice to make natural shelters. It's not as easy as it looks like. Sometimes uh, for me it gets complicated and the huge problem is lack of materials around you. So if you don't want to cut something around, this is just perfect solution. You get it all for under $15, okay? And. Uh, and that's about it. You don't need to have some expensive gear to go out there. People often find excuses not to go out there because of maybe expensive gear or something. This is just enough. Get some food, go out there. You can make nice camp and uh, it's just uh, pure comfort. Five billion star hotel. Whew. Now what I have to do, I need to take all this apart and hide any clues and most of the time when I go out there I do that leave no trace that's because when someone else comes by you'll give them feeling that they're in a really really wild area okay if they find something like this then that's not nice also it's not eco to leave it like this and I'm gonna use this probably for all harvest I can use this for cover something in my garage so yeah all of this plastic will be used in the long term <sighs> now let's tear this apart Timber. When you're tearing up the fireplace, make sure there are no hot coals. Otherwise, 
you can get a forest fire and uh, that wouldn't be good especially for me This is how it should be after you leave the place. Just not perfect, but with the first rain and few needles from above, it will look like no one was here ever. Time to leave. As always, thank you guys for watching and uh, if you like this with go down there, hit the like, comment what you think, tell me what would you do different and as always, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you wonder where the main star is, <laughs> Daddy was not home. Daddy was not home. Yeah, it was not cool. Yeah.